we tend to have an odd disconnect in our minds when we think of civil war in capital letters being our civil war here in America, and civil wars in lowercase being the kinds of conflicts that we see playing themselves out around the globe today. Our civil war um, in the 19th century resembled some of the wars of the 21st, is the way that it became um, a simmering ethnic conflict. We don't typically think of St. Louis as being a civil war battlefield. We think of the civil war as something that happened, um, you know, on a few hilltops in, in Pennsylvania um, or cornfields in Tennessee. It was there a civil war in the truest and rawest sense. Gun battles in the streets, long simmering ethnic hatreds boiling over, and wailing mothers cradling slain children in their arms. And indeed with the Unionists, not the Confederates as rebels. One 12-year-old boy returning home with his father to Pine Street saw something that would still haunt him when he wrote about it more than six decades later. Two bullets had struck our house, and just outside, a German soldier was sitting on the sidewalk with his back to the wall. Coming closer, we could distinguish where the Minier bullet had penetrated his temple. He was dead, and the sight to me was indescribably horrible. My father said that this was civil war. The South had um, a very simple plan for victory in the Civil War. There was one Richmond newspaper that said, our brave cavaliers will do the fighting, while our Negroes will do the shoveling, digging trenches and building fortifications wherever they were, they were needed. And this Confederate colonel said, I am informed, sir, that three Negroes belonging to Colonel Mallory, Confederate colonel, have escaped within your lines. What do you mean to do with these Negroes? And Butler said, I intend to hold them. And this somewhat puzzled Virginian said, do you mean then to set aside your constitutional obligation to return them? Butler smiled and responded, I mean to take Virginia at her word. I am under no constitutional obligations to a foreign country which Virginia now claims to be. The fact is unmistakable that the northern people are fast learning to hate slavery in a way unfelt before. It comes home to every loyal man with a force not to be resisted that the sole cause of this most wicked treason the world ever saw is slavery. So indeed many things were uttered in that first gun fired at Sumter for many groups of Americans that could not have been predicted as the Civil War began. And uh, it's that kind of Civil War story that I tried to tell in my book.